hello hey yeah what's popping how you guys doing yes so it's another vlog so i'll be traveling to another state in nigeria and i haven't traveled by air since this year yeah i only traveled to yo early like after the lockdown like the states lockdown interstate lockdown travel to you my family and i haven't left or Tarkot or you like I haven't shared gone on any flights, any air transport since this year, and I'll be doing that today. And I'm sure there are some protocols because of the whole COVID 19 and all those things, and blah blah blah. So, we're going to see if after how many months, if those protocols are still in place as usual. So, I hope you stay till the end of this vlog, watch till the end please and you guys please like my video eh? every time i post video people watch but people will not like be cool like the video people are not enjoying it people are forgetting to like but i'm reminding you now like the video okay like it like the video and subscribe as well if you haven't According to our number, attention, please. <laughs> Protocols, uh, you get us to just having some funny, funny tail legs. But oh well, at least protocols are being put in place. So guys, hmm, this trip, hmm, this Lagos trip. So first of all, 
what I noticed was they wouldn't let you enter the airport if you're not traveling. <coughs> they only let people that are traveling enter the airport. I mean, I know I agree. I told them that I had excess luggage and my mom was going to pay for it. They were for me, yeah, not done. I didn't want to them. So my mom, she let my mom in and I left. Inside was scanty. Everyone was just doing their thing. Nobody really had time. Few, most people had their masks on. Yeah, most people had their masks on. And as usual, the begging, it never ends in Nigeria. When I went to identify my box, beg. When I went to pee, beg. Ah, Nigerians. And then when I got to the sitting area, most people had their masks on. Everyone, everyone was just behaving all right. Yeah, we're all behaving all right. We're all aware of COVID. We're all aware that COVID or big coronavirus is still in town. And then the calling of the seats, how we all walked in to go and sit was reasonable. It was really, it was really cool. They were calling us according to our numbers and alpha. You know, the whole 1A to 12A, 6E to 12D, that kind of thing, 12E. That was how it went, and it was really nice. And imagine, Epis did not give us food because of Corona. I don't understand, but they gave us water. Help me understand why Epis did not give me food, but they collected the same air flight money. Please, Epis, come and answer this question. Hmm. Driving Lagos, ha, ah, that was on, that one was Zander struggle for me to get Uber. Hmm. Then the traffic, Lagos traffic. Hey, I like Lagos so, but. The traffic just weakens your bones. You don't just have energy to just enjoy the state again. The weather was so hot and angry. I think it's supposed to be like Hamatan season, but it's not dry. The weather Hamatan is only really dry and cold, but the weather is the, the heat is hey pity us. Eh? Finally, the trip from the airport to where I was going to in Lagos was another while uh, like i was literally in traffic for like an hour and i was going to Oba that is in ikeja and the airport is in ikeja but i was still traffic but that's what happens in lagos traffic is the order of the day so guys we continue this journey tomorrow via road road trip so let's continue this vlog <laughs> sorry guys if you've watched up until this point please subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you're inclined comment in the comment section below what you think about this travel vlog tell me tell me tell me let's continue good morning guys so i am at the park right now here in lagos and first of all <laughs> i cut the front seat <laughs> yes i cut the front seat so guys we are still on this journey i won't tell you guys where i'm going so we are still on this journey why I'm in the park is because the journey where I'm going to there's no straight flight from Ottawa to that place. So I stop by Lagos and from Lagos I'm continuing my journey there. And I'll tell you what traveling by road feels like. Of course it's in the airline or in the city. Road on. Mind you, I always wear my mask on. The weather is so hot. Okay, come, sorry, I'm not here, I may not even see you, not there, so yeah, may I may have finished. Uh -huh. So, as I was saying, I like to wear my mask, but the weather is really, really hot, and I don't see myself wearing my mask, because I don't want to die. So at this, at this point now, I'm moving with Ishala, and the blood of Jesus, for Corona not to near me. Let's continue this journey. I think inshallah and the Lord of Jesus will cover me if I use sense. But if I'm smart, because you guys people are just around and they are talking and talking. I feel like I have to feel to prevent anything from coming. But I'm tired of my marks in general. I'm very, really, very really tired of my marks. I'm going to help us. I didn't tell you guys, I actually don't like sitting in the front seat. I was planning on paying for two seats. The problem was that someone was going to be entering my already paid seat. But I was so lucky that I found, like, I was just the first person that got into the
everybody was watching But it's so hard to get to you Cause when you see the sun, I see the moon Buckets of water, millions of clouds Miles of road just to get where you are We have arrived, guys. We have arrived. So, road trip. <laughs> no max was in sight whatsoever. <laughs> it's like people that are doing road trip are totally different from people that are doing a, a transport by air. There was no road. There was no max in sight except for the one the driver had under his chin. The weather was really hot. I tried wearing my max, but I didn't want to suffocate. So at some point, I was like releasing myself to just get fresh air. And there was traffic when we got into town. But then the driver was using us to do delivery. Like he was just delivering others, all goods left, right, and center. When we got into she's the good state, yeah. When we got into the state, he was just delivering other anyhow. And we will now wait for like almost 30 minutes. Or so. so I came into town late. I was supposed to come in, I think, like two hours, two hours, 30 minutes max. But it was longer than that. But I arrived safely and I am here in town. I understand that we are all tired of wearing masks. I am tired myself. We're just hoping and praying that coronavirus will just go and we we'll all be back to normal life and living life like nothing is pushing us, no virus is following us. So all in all, the journey by air was very good. Protocols are being observed, safety guidelines are being observed road transport you're on your own or your is your case if you like yourself you take precautions if you don't mm. <laughs> so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and um, please comment in the comment section below what you think like this video subscribe if you haven't subscribed and please 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 stay tuned for my other content because i'll be bringing you nice vlogs here bye guys see you in my next video bye